Hey there, Coastal Ben. Chris Thomason joined once again by Islanders men's basketball coach Steve Lutz. The Islanders, a couple of wins over UIW since I last talked to you. So, Coach, thanks for joining us again. No problem, Chris. It's great to be here. All right, so as I mentioned, a couple of wins over the Cardinals. Now, you guys shot really well in both of those games, over 58% from the floor uh, in the first game, over 45% three-point range in the second one in San Antonio. So what's been the biggest difference for you guys offensively so far this season? Well, I wish I could tell you it was coaching, but, but none of us can take credit for that. Um, you know, I would just tell you that since Christmas break, um, you know, you don't have classes. Uh, you don't have a lot to do, to be honest with you. And so the guys have spent an enormous amount of time in the gym. Um, you know, we have a couple of graduate assistant coaches, uh, JB, Jonathan Bell, and Taya Cheveria that, you know, they, they get those guys in the gym each and every day. And, and the more shots you make, the more uh, often that you see that ball going through the basket, it just builds confidence. And uh, I think that our guys are playing with good confidence right now. So you're getting into a meteor part of the schedule. You've got a Southland Championship rematch uh, against Southeastern Louisiana this Thursday at the American Bank Center. You've got New Orleans on Saturday, who was a preseason top three pick. So I guess the same question I asked you last week, you had to keep the guys focused on a UIW team they should beat. How do you kind of keep the guys on an even keel this week against some pretty high intensity, high intensity games? Yeah, well, the, the process is still the same. You know, I mean, um, obviously we, we had to uh, work really hard to win that game in San Antonio on Saturday. I think we ended up winning by nine, but it was a close game down the stretch. Um, you know, we had opportunities maybe to get up and, and possibly extend that lead like in game one. But at the end of the day, they made it a really close game. So I, I guess my point to you is that you have to take every game um, as it comes to you. You can't look ahead. Um, but with that being said, now that you have a Thursday, Saturday uh, format moving forward, um, we try to focus a little bit on Mondays for the Saturday opponent. And then Tuesdays and Wednesdays is obviously the Thursday opponent. So um, then, you know, Friday you're, you're trying to recover and then you're focusing on the Saturday opponent. So we've changed our setup just a little bit. Um, but again, it's the same process. You have to take it one game at a time. Now, this was a team that didn't need a lot of help from last season. You win the conference, you get to the first four, you return almost every starter. That being said, talk about the help that has come in. Ross Williams, he's been a really big addition for you guys. Yeah, you know, and, and we felt like uh, that we had a, a good amount of experience returning. We felt like we had uh, plenty of rebounding. We, we thought that, you know, obviously when you lose Miles uh, Smith and, and he's, you know, over a thousand point score, um, you're going to need to bring in somebody that can can replace some of that scoring and also can replace some of that experience and maturity. And and Ross is is, is been a blessing. I mean, you know, he's he's been named a captain here lately. Um, he's obviously shot the ball at a at a very, very high clip. And, uh, you know, he, he works really hard at his game and, and he's a great teammate and a great person. So, um, you know, we're we're obviously excited uh, that he has joined us and, um, you know, want want him to continue to grow and more and more each and every day and each and every game, especially on the defensive end. And I mean, how much does it help, you know, him being a, a graduate senior? Like you kind of mentioned, Miles Smith, you know, that guy that's been around for a while, he might not have been here, Williams, but he's been on the court for a while. Yeah, I mean, you know, anytime you're, you, it's just the old adage of, you know, do you redshirt young people? You know, do you redshirt freshmen? You're just a much better basketball player when you're 22 years old than you are when you're 18 year old. You're, you're 18 years old. So, um, you know, Ross's experience, and obviously he scored a lot of points at his previous institutions. Um, Ross's experience in terms of being battle tested game wise is, is invaluable. And uh, not on, you know, on top of that, he's just a very, a very good natural leader as well. All right, Coach. So last question here. Do you have any New Year's resolutions and have you broken them yet? Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, no, I've already I've already broken them. Um, my my <laughs> biggest New Year's resolution is to control 
uh, my language in practice and during games. And unfortunately, we had a bad call on Saturday night in San Antonio, and, and I lost it a little bit on one of the officials. So I'm out. It's time to go back to being me. Maybe you need a swear jar for the kids and, you know, at least let them profit <laughs> off that. <laughs> Absolutely. It's 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 the opposite though. Instead of the kids swearing, it's dad swearing and put it in their jar. No questions about it. All right, Coach Lutz. Well, thanks for joining us again. The Islanders at home Thursday against Southeastern Louisiana and then again Saturday against New Orleans. We'll see you next time, Coach. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Coastal Ben. We'll see you next time. <laughs>